What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to extract MIDI from loops or songs. So, first of all, load up the sample to your playlist. So I have the sample from Justin IP. I'm not going to load up any commercial songs because of copyrights. So, this is what the loop sounds like. So let me know this before you do anything. Keep in mind that this stuff works best with chords or solos. If there are a lot of complex melodies going on, it might not work that well. So first of all, you load up the sample to the mixer, click on track, it takes you to the mixer. Then there's this VST or plugin called Melodyne that you can use. Load up Melodyne. So you want to make sure your algorithm is set to automatic or polyphonic sustain or polyphonic um, decay, depending on what you're trying to extract. If it's a, a solo, you can use melodic. If it's like a chord, um, chord progression, you can use polyphonic sustain or polyphonic decay. So polyphonic is just basically chords. So since I can hear chords there, I'll just leave it on automatic. And when you load up the plugin on the mixer, just click on transfer and press play again. So to process, so you can see the chords. So you click on settings, save medias. So you want to save this MIDI to somewhere on your computer that you know where it is. So this folder is in my drums folder. So I made the custom folder for my exported MIDIs. So I'm just going to call this JIP for Johnson IP. Then you can disable the VST, you can close it, you can delete it. So I'll go to the folder, um, exp MIDI, yeah, JIP. So I'll load up a piano sound. So just drag the MIDI inside. So, so you can see it has like the chords, maybe not the same sound, but now I can now So if you notice all this other stuff was playing, it was hearing the like if you listen to the loop, it has like a kind of percussive background to it, like the delay and the other effects. That's what he tried to emulate here, but I just want to get the chords. So you can still go back in here and edit all this and delete all this extra stuff that you feel is not needed. So let me do it with something else. Uh, loops. So this is more like a solo. So take it to two since my my other is already on two. Open this, click on transfer, and press play again. Click on settings, save as media again. I'll call this JIP2. 
pattern two. Make sure you disable this melody because if you don't disable it and you press play, it will keep playing while it's on here. So pattern two, go to my EXP folder. Refresh. This is the melody. So you can quantize and make sure everything is all right. So even got the bass notes. So you can use this to steal melodies from loops. You can use it to get melodies from songs, popular songs that you listen to and you're like, how did they, how did they make these chords? Just um, put the song on the playlist. Link it to the mixer, use Melodyne and boom. Play yourself with the melody. So now you can now mess around with it. 